Tilt Crew, one of my favorite core casho is 100 anchored sit-ups for time. How it's gonna work, you're gonna put your feet underneath an ottoman, maybe it's also dumbbells, or if you have a buddy, maybe have them hold your feet down. From here, hands will go behind the head. You'll go elbows to knees and dead. 100 for time. If that volume seems like too much for you, you can go 75 or maybe even 50 for time. Go get it and have some fun. What's up, Tilt Squad? One of my favorite gymnastic style core finishers works on that hollow body position. We're going to do an alternating Tabata. Tabata is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest alternating between two movements for four rounds. Those two movements are gonna be a hollow upper body lift and a hollow lower body lift. For the upper body lift, arms are gonna go up by your ears. You're gonna get that rib cage down into your belly button and squeeze every time you come up. For the lower lift, arms stay by the ears, squeeze the booty, point the toes, lift the legs. Modifications for this, for that upper body lift, if arms over the head's too tough, we're going to cross them over the chest. Same thing, you're curling that rib cage into your belly button, squeezing out the top. For the lower lifts, if we can't maintain that hollow body position with the lower back on the ground, we're going to bring those hands underneath our booty, tuck our chin in, lift the legs. Get after it. All right, Tilt, so we're going to take it back to some of my good old days. When I used to play hockey, this is the Russian circuit. The Russian circuit, you'll need a plate. You can use a dumbbell or an object. It's gonna be 30 seconds, max reps. You just keep moving. The first movement with the plate is gonna be Russian plate twist. After that, you're gonna to go to a plate sit up. Then you're gonna to go to plate V ups. Then you're gonna to go to plate toe taps and finish back on the Russian twist. What it looks like, 30 seconds of each. First is that Russian twist, feet up off the ground, going side to side. From there, extend your arms out, feet are on the floor, you're gonna go plate sit up with those arms extended, coming back and then up. After the sit up, you're gonna to go to plate V ups, starting in hollow, plate, arms extended, meeting the feet. From there, 30 seconds, we go plate, toe taps, reaching up, shoulders come off the ground. From there, we finish back on that Russian plate twist. Have fun, get after it. Hey, CrossFit Tilt, talking core finishers here. We're gonna go seated on your butt. You're gonna need three objects. I got some stuffed animals here, anything will work. You can even go virtual objects. I'm gonna start off sitting on your butt. You're gonna go 10 leg lifts, pushing down with those fingers. 10 leg lifts. After you get 10 leg lifts, that object in the center, you're gonna go lateral, 10. From here, you're gonna go 10 to the outside of those far two objects, 10 here. And you're gonna do that three times, so 10 here, 10, side to side, 10 wide to narrow. Three rounds, feeling ambitious, do five rounds, shouldn't take more than a couple minutes to burn up those abs. Good luck, beach season is here. Hey guys, uh, my favorite core cash out um, is a little twist on your classic plank, uh, pun intended there. We're going to go a little twisted plank here. Um, I like to go one minute on, 30 seconds rest. You can go for around three to five rounds of that, depending on how long you wanted to go for the day. A little twisting plank here. You can do this on your hands or your forearms. Starts in your normal plank, you're going to rotate to one side, lift that arm up, rotate to the other, going back and forth for that minute. Again, you can go on your forearms as well, rotating back and forth, trying to keep those hips up as you move through that minute. Enjoy. All right, Tilt Fam, welcome to Linda's Ab Lab, my favorite core finisher 
is going to have you going five rounds of 20 V-ups and 20 Russian twists. For your V-ups, your hands and your feet are going to be meeting in the middle. And for that Russian twist, you can use a weight, but you don't have to. Every single time that you twist, that counts as one rep. It's a money back guarantee. If you don't have abs at the end of this workout, email James if you don't see him. Hey Tilt fam. One of my favorite core cash outs is a down ladder from 10 down to one of the following two movements. A heel over a dumbbell or an object. And once you've done 10 of those, 10 crunches, bringing those knees in, making it challenging by lifting up those arms. Then nine of those lifts, and then nine crunches, down to one of both. Have fun. Hey everybody, a good core finisher that is one of my favorites is going to be five sets. It's going to consist of 20 toe touches into 10 V-ups. For the toe touches, you're gonna lay on your back, legs in the air, and reach, crunch up to those toes. After that, you're gonna go right into the V-ups. For the V-ups, you can start with your arms by your side. If you wanna make it a little harder, go arms overhead. You can do single leg. And if that's too tough, we can do the crunch instead. All right, five sets, do it up. Hey Tilt fam, Coach Casey here to show you a new core cash out. You can either follow along with me or save my moves for later on. I went to YouTube. I searched Baby Shark, and we're gonna get after it. We're gonna start in a hollow hold. If you can't extend your legs, we can go with that tuck position for now. Get ready to rock with my friends. What's happening, Tail Team? Hope you guys are off to a great day. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite core cash out. Believe it or not, I do have one. First one is going to be an alternating leg uh, V up. So I'm just going to start off in my hollow rock position. I'm going to bring both my hands up to meet a single leg. Go back down, bring the opposite leg, and just keep alternating it through for a total of 10 reps. Once I've got those 10 reps down, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate on over. I'm gonna start a clock. And we're gonna go ahead and get into a plank position. With this one, I'm a little bit more focused in maintaining a hollow position as well. I'm gonna go belly button just in a little bit more. So my back is slightly rounded at the top as I'm pressing through my arms, which are straight and underneath my shoulders. I like to go five rounds immediately after a workout. Try your best to get that done as close to unbroken as possible and straight through. Let me know what you think. Stay hard, team.